Hi Harun. I'm just gonna do a quick interview with you. Try to be as uh, casual as possible. Okay, so what uni do you go to? All right, I go to Imperial College London. What course are you taking? I'm studying mechanical engineering. What year are you? I'm currently in the second year. Tell me a little bit. How did you find your first year? Yeah, so the first year was really interesting. The first term I found it was actually pretty tough, uh, tougher than I uh, first imagined. Um, the first term was mainly trying to get used to studying at university because I feel like at college you don't get to learn that because um, I think it's completely different um, the way of learning in college compared to university. And then obviously the second term got a lot better. Um, the courses, courses got more interesting and then you got to do more stuff, got to do more projects. Um, and then yeah, and then the last final term is the final push for the exam. So that's overall it was a it was an interesting journey, but uh, yeah, it was some one that's I think worth it. How do you think you did for your first year? Like, I think I I did okay. Uh, I mean like first test I was like we did um, a, like a set of tests. In the end I I got through. Uh, I ended up in like in the middle middle of the class. So I think that's all right. That's I mean true. the thing about Imperial is gotta think that you know that's just. These are the best students in the world, right? They've taken all the best students in the world. So definitely, you, definitely. so you being in the middle of that is actually not a bad thing because you're actually comparing with all the best in the world, and you're actually like that's, you know you're, you're doing well. You know what? Actually, the best advice I got is this: Ni sixty is the new ninety. <laughs> no, honestly, that actually really you got to really change your perspective because especially for us, right? Yeah. Um, like we going to university, we thinking okay, we got all these A stars in A levels, get ninety plus, like whatever, right? Um, but then when you come to university, all of a sudden you're getting like 60s, 70s. I'm like, you're like, what the hell? So you got to really change your perspective. And once I did, once I realized that, I, I did I did much better. How hard is it to get like a 60 or a 70? 70 is considered like first, is first class? 70 is first class, yeah. Okay. So how hard is it? I think yeah. if for like a simple module, for example, thermodynamics, um, if you just put in the work consistently, uh, go to tutorials, that's very important, ask questions, you can get um, 65 and above, I think. Um, and then obviously, in the actual exam, there are small tricky questions and then just really understanding the content is more important than trying to practice it, like how you practice A-levels. Because in A-levels, you're just cramming past paper questions. Um, mm. At university, it's not like that. It's more about understanding. So um, yeah, I think that's how you get high marks. So is consistency important as well? Like attending oh, yeah. everything and like keeping up. So right. so, <laughs> thing at Imperial, I think is that no one actually is on top of things. On top of things, hundred percent <laughs> on top of things. You know, I think that's like a myth. Uh, but you want you need to be consistent. Um, one thing every senior tutor, every personal tutor says this is that you have to be, you have to be consistent to, to to, to at least do well. You know. Uh, so, so consistency is key, and also just asking asking the right questions is also another important thing. Yeah. Can I also ask a bit of how your teaching and learning is done? Like, do you have pre-recorded lectures, or is it in person yeah, now? Okay, and yeah. like, is, is tutorial like small class where like yeah. they go through questions, or like yeah. how is it? Okay, so in the first, it's actually different now. So first okay. year, um, okay, so all the lectures are all in person. Uh, in the first year, they were also streamed on Microsoft Teams. Uh, now in the second year, they are um, recorded and uploaded to Panopto. So they, you get it. You get the recording like two hours after the lecture. Um, and then for, for tutorials, uh, last year, in first year, it was mandatory for all um, tutorials where you even had to take off your register. Um, now in second year, it's more of a drop-in. So it's, not op it's now optional. Okay. So yeah, in the tutorials, you literally go in and ask questions to the tutors that are available. So normally there's about like five tutors and the class is split um, like 50-50. So you get about like 80 people. But then actually the number of people who actually turn up to the second year tutorials are more like 10. Oh, I <laughs> <Yeah>. see. <laughs> so actually not that many people turn ah. up to tutorials. Um, so it's not compulsory now? It's not compulsory. It's then is, is your schedule relatively free or is, are you still packed with stuff? So um, with lectures and tutorials, that take up uh, uh, the large majority of your time. Uh, then you also have like uh, workshop sessions. So um, well, that was last term. We got workshop sessions and then labs. We have a lot of labs this term. You have labs? Yeah. yeah. Like like in normal uh, weeks, you have labs. Or do you have like specific lab week or something? We have, well, this term is like almost every week we have a lab. We have labs, what else? Tutorials, lectures, uh, workshops and even clinic tutorials where you didn't go in to ask 
It's just a, it's just basically a same thing as a tutorial. Yeah. So like uh, on a um, daily <laughs> kind of schedule, uh, is it like nine to twelve? Like yeah, how random is the timings? So my busy days are uh, Thursday and Friday. My busy days. Wednesday is nine to twelve. Um, because that's fixed, right? Because uh-huh. after 12 is all the clubs and societies. And then on Monday, Tuesday, it fluctuates. Um, sometimes I'm pretty free. Like this week, I was actually very free on Monday. Uh, but next week, I'll be very busy on Monday. Most of the time, what people do is you just stay on campus from 9 to 5. Monday, Tuesday. I know people 9 to 6. Monday, Tuesday, Bro, Monday, Tuesday, Friday. That's crazy. <laughs> it's do, like you, they, do you stay on campus? Yeah, actually. Because one thing I have is very useful is having people around you. I mean, you just want to ask questions. That's true. So you just stay on campus and just ask, you know. It's quite easy. Um, also, like, if you want to do uh, solid works and you need the college computer. All right. Uh, I think I got sidetracked a little bit. <laughs> uh, uh, so how do you find second year now? Second year now is interesting. Uh, I actually quite like the first term because we were working on this uh, compressed gas vehicle project. Oh, um, so it was the first time we got to like design and like, yeah, so design and make something in the team, but the whole go through the whole design process, you know, go on CAD, design everything and then actually make it in the uh, student workshop. Right? Oh. So we got to use our lathes, our milling, laser cutting. Right, like, um, you lay like metal yeah, yeah, yeah. and you actually made it. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, we, cause we had to do that in the first year. We had to learn how to use the machines. Ah. Um, so we did that all in the first year Now second year We know how to use the machines Now we're expected to Use them and actually make Stuff With it <laughs> Okay That is yeah. a little bit more advanced I mean a lot more advanced Than UCL Because We also have um, Like Practical stuff But Well we don't We don't have to learn it We just like Give it to them And they do it for uh, us uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah So yeah. we just basically Focus more on design And like Assembling Not uh, really Operating okay. the yeah. machines Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like especially for during the design stage, like yeah. you really have to consider the manufacturing considerations. Can you actually manufacture this? Mm. Uh, and then we had a really tight time constraint, you know. Mm-hmm. So it was like really you have to be very precise and like, okay, can you actually make this in this amount of time? So apart from the project, we also had to keep up with all our other yeah, lectures, right? I've... We have um, nine other modules to do. Yeah, man, <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. So yeah, that was pretty tough. Um, but yeah. This term, uh, we're going to have another like design week. Design something brand new-ish kind of thing. But overall, it's, it's, uh, it's tough. It's, it's challenging. Uh, it's meant to be challenging. Second year is actually, according to most people in Imperial, in Mackenzie, uh, the most challenging year out of the four years, which is quite strange. But I think they say that as well in UCL. They do? Yeah, compared yeah. to third and fourth year, or yeah. first year. Yeah, first and second year is meant to challenge you. You want to separate the the boys from the men. <laughs> the men from the boys. <laughs> well said, well said. So, yeah. So, do you think Imperial is a good place to study Mekensh? Is it a good place to study Mekensh? Yes, I think it is. Because you, the modules that you learn, you pretty much cover everything. So, it's mainly broken down to three things. Thermal fluids, your solid mechanics, and then your mats and mechatronics. And then you obviously got your design and professional engineering skills. Okay, um, so <laughs> last question is, any tips for how to get into Imperial? Any tips? Bullshit your PS. <laughs> 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 I mean, in a way, you want to present yourself in the best way possible. Do do all the like engineering project stuff and clubs and societies related to engineering. Yeah, get good A-levels, obviously. Also, just learning outside the, the A-level module. We, they have an interview. They ask you about other stuff. Like, how does this machine work? That's why I got asked. It took, it took me quite a while to understand it. But then <laughs> what was it? What machine was that? It was a <coughs> measurement recording device. So it actually uses trigonometry to measure the distances between certain points oh. of, a, of an object. What else? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that, that's basically it, right? <laughs> just got to ace your A levels, do well in the interview, interview, and just. I think uh, now there's even a um, admissions test. Oh, they didn't have it during our they time. They didn't have it, so I was like, yeah, I didn't have it. I didn't have to do it. I only had to do it. Okay, uh, so thank you very much, Harun, <laughs> no um, for the interview. Um, I wish you the best in your second year yes. and throughout your entire degree. Uh, thank you, and uh, have a nice day.